When the song come on, let me see you get gone. Get gone. Baby mamas, this your song. Been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Now tell the DJ, turn it on. Turn it on. If she a baby mama, Go ahead. she gon' do that baby mama. Yep. Work. She gon' put it on you. Yeah. Uh-huh. She gon' do that baby mama. Drop, 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 on the floor with it, get low with it. I'ma do it, do it, do it. You guys, I'm feeling so much better today. Can I just say? I'm hoping that I'm recording the right way. I'm sorry for the low quality videos, but our computer's having major issues. Like, if I don't edit and film on my phone, I hope I'm recording the right way, hold on. Okay, I was recording the right way. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if I don't edit and record on my phone. I'm always so nervous about recording the wrong way. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, um, if I don't edit, record, My brain is so fried. <laughs> Love you. If I don't edit, record, and film all on my phone, it's not happening. It's so bad. Because me and Martin actually have so much footage that we record with our camera. Because, you know, we have standards on our Hour Together channel. Not on this channel, though. There's no standards here. But my brain can't afford to have standards right now, you know? Maybe once I pop this baby out, but... Not right now, like, I'll overwhelm myself if I get too into, like, oh my gosh, I want the quality to be nice, I want it to be this way, that way. I can't do that right now. My brain cannot handle it. <laughs> but, um, so that's why I have to do everything on my phone. Because, um, if I do it on our camera and edit on our computer that doesn't work with our Wi-Fi, that's some freaking pelotas. It's not gonna happen. It could take days to um, actually be able to edit on our software and upload on our computer. It's just ridiculous. So that's why I do everything on my phone, on this channel. But I kind of love it because I used to always think it was harder on your phone. I don't know why, I just kind of had that conception. Like I can't imagine doing it on your phone, but I think it's easier. It's way easier. <laughs> so, so, my reason for today's video Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love you. Oh my dog. How loving he is. A loving dog. Look at him. Look at him. That's a dog who loves his mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to give you guys a quick update. Sorry if you can see broccoli, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? I'm eating. I'm feeling so good. I'm sure you guys can tell by my vibe right now because you guys just know, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I'm like, eh, I don't want to make this video, eh, F my life, F your life, F everything. But if I'm feeling good, I'm probably dancing, eh, eh. Um, <clears throat> my reason for today's video, though, is I want to give a quick update. And I just turned 33 weeks. And I'm feeling mighty bad. No, but seriously, I'm feeling really good today. And I feel like it's important for me to document that because pregnancy changes so, so frequently, so much, so fast, day by day. Like day by day, you can change how you feel, what's happening, your body changes day by day. Right when you think you can get any bigger, it's like the next day you wake up and you just explode that much more. Like even right now, like I'm massive, obviously. Like, but like I I already know, I already know, like the last two weeks of pregnancy, I'm just gonna like mega explode, you know? And even this is still like nothing. So anyways, um, here I am, 33 weeks, pregnant as F, feeling it, loving it though. I, I seriously am loving it. I'm embracing every single second, pregnancy brain and all. Um, good days and bad days. Even my stretch marks, guys, I know it's kind of weird, but... 
um i these well these stretch marks right here the dark ones that you see right here and like r right up here these are all baby red these light ones down here are mason which is weird though because baby red lies on my left side and low so you would think they would be more down here but no they're here for some reason um what else am i saying lord have mercy with my brain <coughs> oh yeah so um major update i'm feeling so good but i'm taking it day by day because that can change instantly second trimester was definitely the easiest out of the three trimesters so far first sucks because you're just like well for me very personally i was like ravenous but i, I don't like to say just ravenous because i feel like that doesn't cut it like i was eating so much i mean all this weight you guys see me all rellenita you know but like all this weight it's not just baby it's myself like i could eat like buffet on top of buffet on top of like whole families literally i was eating so much my first trimester and that's where i gained all my weight and now i feel like i'm not even gaining that much weight anymore i go to my doctor's appointment go and i don't gain weight so i almost feel like in my first trimester i needed to gain that weight and I look back on my Hour Together videos and I was, I don't want to say skinny because I'm not naturally a skinny girl. I never have been, but I was definitely like leaner. Like I had little cheeks, you know, feed, feed me cheeks. I just, you know, and now I'm like fluffy, which I love. Like, I don't know. I'm not one to like feel bad about anything. The only thing that did frustrate me is how much I felt like I had to eat. Otherwise I would constantly get nauseous. But even that hasn't changed. Like if I don't eat something when I need to eat something, I get nauseous. Like that's still a, that's still something that happens. <coughs> when your son come on, let me see you get yeah, no. But um, energy wise was the absolute worst first trimester. Absolute best second trimester. And this third trimester so far, it's been on and off. It just, some days are good, some days are bad. I'm constantly apologizing for myself to Martin and Mason because I don't even like explode, but I just feel like I'm not patient. And not that I like, cause we're not one to yell. Like our fam, we don't yell at each other. And I think Martin really instilled that in us, in me, because I used to be a psycho bee. Like I was definitely a yeller when me and Martin first got into a relationship and we were younger. But now, um, we're very mellow, but just because you're mellow doesn't mean that you're always being the nicest person, you know? So for example, I'm out of breath, but for example, last night, I had to tell the boys to just leave me alone. And again, I don't yell, but it's just like, can you guys please leave me alone? Like, I'm not having a good day. I don't want anybody in the room right now when I kind of just lock myself in there. And it's mean. I, I know I have broccoli in my teeth and I'm sorry, but can I feel it? it's mean you know because they don't deserve to um to be treated like that but to suffer the consequences but i know they understand and then eventually like when i'm over it i come out and i'm like i'm sorry can we go get food <laughs> like i kid you not that's like every other night and so it's like it just alternates and, and then you have days like this where i'm feeling absolutely amazing Granted, I've been sick too. During the last weeks of your pregnancy, the last week or two, all of a sudden moms will get like a spike of energy just because they start nesting. But I feel like I've been nesting already, guys. Like, I feel like, are you freaking me? Oh, it's recording. But I feel like I've been nesting already. We're always constantly organizing. I mean, as you guys can see, we like to live like a very minimal as possible life so we're constantly getting rid of stuff our mess right now is right here these three shelves which is all of mason's book work and i have to go through all that because when we study at home i want like easy access but there's still stuff that i need to get rid of and organize in there so as you can see we're constantly constantly doing something um so here too we've i mean we're pretty organized for the most part we have baskets uh, our restroom too today I don't know if I showed you guys in here, but I organized gels, toothpaste. Um, this should actually be down here with the toothpaste, but it doesn't fit. Deodorant, lotions, perfumes, and like essential oil, lavender, facial mask. 
So I feel like I'm caught. I don't, and I don't even feel like that's nesting yet. Like nesting to me is gonna be, I don't know, probably like all that times 10. I can already imagine myself. But the day I got sick, I feel like I overworked myself. I like, cause I was, my back was aching, but I wasn't stopping. I was like, no, I need to get this done. I need to organize Mason's closet. And I wasn't listening to my body. And I almost worked myself so much that I feel like maybe that's why I got sick. Cause I should have rested and, and listened to myself and, and I, maybe I would have had more defenses, you know? But anyways, <coughs> 33 weeks, feeling mighty fun. Um, Mason's birthday's coming up. He's gonna be seven years old. <laughs> Okay, not getting emotional yet. I get emotional maybe like a couple days before his birthday, but um, I feel like I cannot ever stay on track and I'm, I apologize for that. So thank you for just understanding. Um, 33 week update. <laughs> Why can't I think of anything to update you guys on now? Mood swings are real. I haven't had one in the last five minutes and that's amazing. Um, what else? I'm not, oh, this is an update I wanted to do. I'm not hungry. Like, I'm not, not that I'm not hungry, but I'm not ravenous, you know? And it's a really good thing because I don't want to be ravenous. That was the only thing that really, really, like, has frustrated me about pregnancy is when I'm, like, uncontrollably hungry. Like, I need to eat everything. Um, and not because of the waking, because none of that bothers me. I'm, like, one to embrace every single moment, every single stage in my life. Like, stretch marks cellulite i love it all because it all says it's all part of your story as a woman as a mother in general so i don't know i just love every stage of life i feel like we're so blessed to i don't know just have life period so why not just embrace it all and so i have to pee all the time i'm constantly having to pee constantly having to use the restroom seriously about maybe every other 30 minutes to hour at night. Or at least that's what it feels like. I bet you anything I'm exaggerating, but that's seriously what it feels like. Um, I can't smell anything. And I don't know if it's because I'm sick, but usually when I'm pregnant, I can smell absolutely everything. And I was able to during the first and second trimester of this pregnancy, but now I can't smell anything again, which is amazing because ignorance is bliss. I don't wanna be able to smell anything. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that I'm congested or what, but um what else what else what else, what else? oh peeing so since i've been sick i pee on myself all the time that much more and it's something natural that happens when you're pregnant like it just happens you, you're not gonna be able to escape it that's the reality of pregnancy you're gonna pee on yourself so um if i go over to your house you gotta put towels on your chair because you know better safe than sorry but i guess it's not as bad as it is when i'm sick because now that i'm getting better it's not that bad but when i was like sneezing 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 then my sinuses were at like it's peak, it was worse. I was like sneezing, pee, sneezing, pee. And I would tell Martin, I'm like, I don't have enough pants for this. <coughs> so yeah, if you're peeing on yourself, like don't feel bad. Honestly, I was thinking about getting diapers to wear, but I don't think I'm going to anymore because I, it's, now that I'm getting better, I'm not sick anymore. Um, I just, I'm not peeing as much on myself. So I don't think I'm gonna need to get diapers, which is nice. Um, Like your song. Come on. Oh, energy. It's like I said, on and off, on and off. <laughs> if I think of anything else, it'll be in the next video. Thank you guys for being here. I love you guys. Bye. Okay, so I'm laying in bed editing the video right now that I'm going to put up. And I thought of one more update that I really wanted to give. So I want to take it back real quick to maybe I was about 25. It was definitely before being 30 weeks pregnant. And I was telling, I, I did an Instagram post actually on my story. And I was like, the baby is so mellow. The baby doesn't move at all. Yeah, no, um, no. The baby is psycho. The baby moves all the freaking time. And most of the time it hurts. It's like jabbing me so hard. Like, <laughs> so the baby moves all the time which is so different for mason because mason used to move only when i would eat cheese uh strawberry cheesecake he loves strawberry cheesecake this baby is active all the time me and martin are like oh man i feel like we're gonna be in for it and it's funny because you know people will say that the second child is known to be the tremendo the tremenda of the family i don't know why people say that but that's what they say they say the middle child the second child is cray cray and a little bit worried but i'm here for it i'm just loving every second of pregnancy guys i really am um anything else i can think of 
probably not but i just want to really like reassure you moms who are not feeling your baby yet maybe you're not even 30 weeks yet that because i know that really worried me when i was 25 weeks and i had friends who are pregnant too they're like oh my baby's already so active i was like my baby's not is my baby okay granted like i had major anxiety so it just again made it so much worse on me but um i just want to reassure you guys that first of all everybody every mom every baby is different so if your baby's chill and mellow and doesn't move that much it's okay it doesn't mean anything is wrong anything is bad <coughs> or it could just simply mean that baby's sleeping you know and and later on in your third trimester baby's gonna get crazy on you so just enjoy the calm before the storm so i really really want to reassure you guys because i know that was something that really 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 worried me in my second trimester when the baby wasn't moving um it's normal i honestly don't think you're supposed to even feel the baby move until 26 weeks technically average it doesn't mean you cannot not feel it before but on average most moms won't feel it till 26 i believe mine was sometime after the 26 so we're all different you know we're all different don't you worry um i think that is it oh i want to get an intro and an outro for you guys one day but it's not going to happen during this pregnancy more than likely because i just can't think creatively i can't even think of what i want to do maybe i'll just like put up a picture of like oh okay of like the dogs and mason and i don't know i just don't know i can't think of any outro i want to do like it's not happening anytime soon bye Go on, go on, go on, go on, go Hey, hey, do. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go Hey, hey.